Hi, welcome to another ByteWiser Inkscape uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cartoon style bear paw or bear claw. Uh, I, I had done something like this on a website that I had uh, a while ago and it turned out pretty well. Uh, it went along with an actual bear that I made in Inkscape and it, it looked pretty sweet but uh, well anyways I'm just going to do the bear paw part now just because it's uh, well a little bit easier to fit into a 20 minute tutorial. So uh, let's start by uh, grabbing the Bezier tool over here on the sidebar and uh, we'll kind of make a shape something like that. Kind of like an arrowhead or something like that. Now we'll grab this edit pass by nodes tool or you can press F2 and we're going to go and select all of these nodes here and we're going to smooth them out. So it's a little bit like that. So now we can start messing with these nodes here and uh, we'll just kind of, whoop, I just want to select this guy, bring him down a little bit. We don't want to make this so, so long here. So we have something like this. That looks pretty, pretty good. That's, that's going to be the heel part of the paw there. And uh, we'll just give this a color kind of like that. And I'm going to get rid of the stroke by pressing shift and clicking on this X here. So now it's just blue and that's it. Now what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the actual toes. And there's probably, what, five toes on a bear. So we're going to make kind of a, a triangle here. And uh, we're going to select this edit pass by nodes tool over here and we want the bottom two of these to be smoothed out, not the top one here, the claw part. So we'll do something like that. And now if I click on just this guy, I can move him around to where I like. And that looks like a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, toe there, claw. So I'm also going to make that this same blue color. You can make it whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to press shift again and hit X here. Uh, the X down here, not the actual key on the keyboard X. And uh, so now we got a paw uh, or a, a toe, and I'm going to press Control Shift and make this toe just a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Control D and bring them out. Control D again, and I'm going to just do this until I have five of these toes. So now we can start to space them out a little bit. Click on this and then rotate. And it'll take just a little bit of time just to get this uh, looking good. And click on that twice to rotate. That's all I'm doing here is uh, click once to select and then click once again on the shape and then grab one of these guys to rotate. That's all I'm doing there. So. Uh, we want to get these kind of looking like uh, they're in the right spot there. And actually, with these guys, since they lean a little bit more to the right, it appears, I'm going to just rotate these uh, horizontally. Oh, geez, that was terrible. Uh, but that's okay. I think that's probably what we want here. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. And just click on them again and rotate until it looks something like that. Might want to. I'm going to grab all these guys here, and I'm just going to press Control Shift and grab that arrow, bring them down just a little bit. I think they're just a little too large, and because uh, I want to bring this big toe down, the center toe down just a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so that's how you generally make it, but what I did on my website, uh, it's uh, <laughs> not running anymore, but um, I, I press Control D, and so I duplicate this uh, heel part, and what I did was I gave it a kind of green color, not, not that sea green kind of color, but something a little more strong, like, uh, like that. 95FF1D, we'll say. Something like that. Now I'd press Control Shift and grab that arrow. Make it a little smaller. 
and then I brought it up right to the top here and uh, wasn't quite done there well actually you know what? I don't want to make this a little bit bigger it's a little small okay so now you can see the blue just fades at the very top there until it's just green and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this green guy and I'm gonna make him a lighter blue and I'm gonna press control shift just a little bit because I'm gonna want just a little of that green to be showing through there and kinda like that and that was the bear claw that I had made on my website we can press control G to group them all together and so that's basically what you had there it's pretty simple to make a, a little uh, bear claw uh, as you can see it only took a few minutes for me to do that um, so you can do anything you know um, it doesn't have to be a cartoon style bear claw it can be something more like uh, what a lot of sports teams use for their mascots you know that kind of bear paw or something or you can uh, make it look real it's really not too far off from a real thing you know what this is kind of bugging me here I'm gonna press control shift G to ungroup that and I don't quite like how these guys are laying here and I think in particular it's this middle toe that's throwing me off. So I'm just going to move them over just a little bit there. And, oh, and I'm going to grab these guys. And I rotate him just a little bit. There, that looks a lot better, I think. So uh, there's your bear paw. So uh, have fun with it, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.